farsightedness is again correctable by either changing the lens or altering the cornea unless the degree of farsightedness is very extreme in the nature of over seven diopters or the natural lens in the eye is causing a space problem which it sometimes might it's still generally preferable to correct it by correcting the cornea as the amount of farsightedness is small the cornea can be changed in its shape through the uh, photo-induced cross-linking process called pixel if uh, the farsightedness is to a greater degree it really does require a laser vision correction the original process of PRK although it can work for farsightedness because there is a greater healing response from the epithelium it will offset a good portion of the treatment effect and there's a higher rate of the treatment effect disappearing with time so it is significantly better and has a greater long-lasting effect of applying LASIK and particularly if that LASIK is combined with a partial lock-in process through the cross-linking process which again would be applied in a targeted fashion to the area where the ablation was done using the pixel machine. SMILE, the third generation treatment that preserves the tough layer and should likely induce a greater stability by itself to the farsighted treatment is technically feasible for the treatment of farsightedness but has yet to gain regulatory approval so as a practical treatment it's currently not available outside of special scientific studies <laughs>